Happy Thursday everyone. Welcome to Jenny's Card Creations. I am Jenny. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator coming to you live from Donvale, Melbourne, Australia. How are you all? How are you all? Um, on replay, I hope you've all had a great week and please do hash replay just to let me know that you have been on so I can um, pop on and say hello to you. If you are new, please say hello to us. We are such a, I've got such a great bunch of people that come on here. So um, we'd love to welcome you and say, hey, say hello to you. Anyway, what have you all been doing this week? It's been a quiet one for me this week. Haven't been feeling the best, but um, we're here. <laughs> so I hope you've all had a, a, a good week. It's raining at the moment. So I think winter is starting to set in here in in uh, Victoria. So I'm not a fan of winter. It's just gets dark so early. I know because of daylight saving finishing, but even more so today it got dark very early. Okay, so while a few of you pop on, um, you know the drill, I'm going to pop on here and just see if I can find myself and hopefully I'm in the right place. Okay, just find myself and turn myself down for starters. There we go, you nearly heard me, two of me. Uh, one of me is, is enough. <laughs> okay. All right, so I see a few of you starting to pop on. Okay. All right, so just a few little bits of housekeeping. Uh, the sale is still on. Have you all been looking at the sales? They are going very, very quickly. The um, the stamp set that I used last week, it went within 24 hours after I did a live. I mean, I like to say it's because of my live, but no. <laughs> it's a really good stamp set and die set. So that is completely gone. Um, tonight, I'm actually going to use something that is in the brand new catalogue, which um, you will all receive from me, the, those of you who have popped your name down to receive this catalogue. Um, they are going out on the weekend. I just added another little bit I wanted to put in there, um, a little treat in there for you. So if you would like one, you haven't got a demonstrator, please cup on and I would love to um, send one out to you. So let me know. That would be fantastic. Okay. So they are going to be on your way very, very soon. Um, okay. So let me pop you back over. And we'll get started. Okay. Okay. Colleen, I have you on the list. Hello. You were going to automatically get one. So any of you who have purchased me from me in the last six months will definitely be receiving a catalogue from me. Automatic. Okay. So first of all, I just want to let you know about... We're a little bit crooked here, aren't we? So let me just line this up a little bit better that's a bit better isn't it okay i'm just going to push this up a little bit higher because i want you to see this i posted this on my page about the color club oh we're still a bit wacky i don't know because my phone is nice and straight so i don't know why it is doing that but anyway oh that's better okay so i posted on my page i'm doing a color club and what Colour Club is, we've got the new brand new in colours, which are these down here. Um, it gets a little bit pricey when you want everything all at once. So I've made that easier for you. So what I've done is I have organised a Colour Club for you. And I have an option one or an option two. Now an option one is 68 per month. This is something um, that you commit to. Okay, um, and each month I will send you products that are listed here that will be just that one colour. So for Petunia Pop, for instance, my favourite, I love this colour, you'll get a stamp pad. Okay, I'm just going to actually pop this out here for you. You'll get a stamp pad, a refill, which unfortunately I can't order yet because I only can order those when the catalogue goes live. So you get a refill. Then you'll get alcohol blends. And then you're going to get a metre of ribbon. Now, I did have the ribbon here. There it is. You're going to get it. It's not going to be the whole of this, but um, this is 9.1 metres. But you're going to get a metre of this. Okay. And then you're getting 6 by 6 designer series paper in that colour. So you're getting two of these. 
which is that one, and two of these in those colours. So you'll be getting the same things every month, but in the appropriate colour that we are doing. Okay, um, you also will receive a colour chart. Now, this is the colour chart. I have made a colour chart up. Okay, um, my team members will be getting this automatically, so you'll be getting this in your mail soon. This is your colour chart, and it's updated every year, but this time they have got all our brand new colours in here. Okay, so this gives you ideas. Like, if you were worried about garden green, I don't know what's going to go with garden green. I need some ideas. So it gives you some ideas. Garden green, blueberry bushel, and Cajun craze. That's an idea they've given you that they will all work for you. Another one is garden green, pumpkin pie, and gorgeous grape. So there's options there for you. Okay, um, so peach pie, one of our new ones. So for peach pie, it's telling you that lemon lime twist and granny apple green go really well. Or petunia pop and azure afternoon. That will go really well. Or peach pie, eclipse or coral, misty moonlight. I have this on my desk all the time. I did this last year. Um, and I found this tool extremely helpful because otherwise I'd be just going to the same old colours because this is amazing. It tells you colours I would never have thought of putting together and they work, okay? So you are going to be automatically receiving one of these in the mail when you um, uh, go, to, go in the colour club, okay? Now... If you, for instance, say, well, this is 68 per month. Obviously, you know, you've got 10 sheets of um, cardstock there. I'm giving you 10 sheets. So this, the only thing that's missing here is a refill. I think just our refill and our color chart. And that is $68, okay? So this is really, really a good way and a more economical way of trying to get all those colors so by September you will have all that set plus the extras that I have been throwing in now if you're like me and you say but I don't want it just one color I want them all now because that's me <laughs> I'm a shocker well I can help you out there three hundred dollars you will get everything I just said to you before and showed you before plus i'm going to be giving you an embellishment pack now i'm showing you this embellishment pack this is the embellishment pack you're going to get there is actually because this is my thank you gift for this month if you spend over 75 um there's another embellishment pack um, in all these colors as well so i'm including that in your pack in option two plus i'm including the crafty collaborations pdf okay okay plus there'll be other little bits and pieces in there now i'm also and this isn't on here but i'm also going to give you some card kits in these color appropriate colors each month um that you can put together and might give you a bit of an idea so that's my what i am going to do for you Okay, so if you are interested, please let me know by the 29th of April for the Colour Club if you want to do it um, every month. I can't order these until the catalogue goes live. But as soon as I get to know, um, I can write the list up and I can order them ASAP and then they will be sent to you in two weeks' time after that. So please let me know if you would like to take part of that, okay? All right, um, and don't forget the ring inkers are included, which we can't order them until we go live. Okay, we have got our April host code. Um, and as I was saying to you before, this is my thank you gift, which is our um, new color range of our sparkly gems. Uh, yeah, so when you spend 75 and over, you'll receive a pack of those plus the crafty collaborations for April. Okay, last month you got the, um, you had a choice of what colour you liked in these alcohol blends. This week, this month, it is our sparkly gems. They are so pretty. <laughs> okay, all right, so please quote this code. So let me know if you do order for me. Um, so I know to send you a thank you as well and know that, you know, 
that you have ordered from me. Okay, that'd be fantastic. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just see who's on. I know a few of you have popped on now. Hello, Colleen. Hello and hello, Helen. Esther, how are you? Donna, hello. No problem. I'll see you on replay. Enjoy your bowls presentation. Oh, wow. Are you having a presentation? Are you getting something? You'll have to send me a photo if you do. Hi, Trudy. Hello. You got card four today. Gosh, that took a while. I'm glad you got it today. Hi, Julie. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Glenda. And hello, Lillian. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for popping on. I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, so... Just a reminder for Khan and Kappa um, Tuesday group, we don't forget we are meeting tomorrow at 7.30. That's tomorrow night at 7.30 for our card three, okay, on our private Facebook group page. Um, I sent out an event. If you could um, say you're going, that will just prompt you the, the, the change of time and the day, okay? So it's just for this week only. Okay, tonight... I'm going to do all new tonight, I think. Is it all new? Yes, it is. It's all new tonight. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working from Spotlight on Nature and the dies. This is a bundle I received at on stage. Um, and I must admit, we were we, there was a night where we could craft with it, but hey, I didn't. <laughs> I was too busy gacking. So I didn't craft with it at all. So I actually, today's the first day I've actually crafted with it. And it's a really, really cute set. Love this butterfly. He's a real cutie. Hello, Liz. How are you going? Hello, Lisa. How are you all? Um, thanks, everyone, again, for popping on. It's a horrible, horrible evening. Very cold and wet. So thank you so much. Okay, so this is the stamp set here. Such a pretty, pretty set. I love the... Um, the sentiment in here, uh, the fonts, I think the fonts are really pretty. Plus, guys, I've got my texture here. You know I love my texture, so I'm pretty happy I've got splatters. <laughs> a little splatter is, you know, goes a long way, and I'm very ha happy just to get a little splatter. I love it. Okay, so these ones here, the dies are amazing. Okay, so these are these circles here i must admit when i we had a choice of three and i must admit these are the reasons why i did buy this set but i'm actually glad i got this as a bundle because sometimes i don't buy the bundles i buy the, the stamp set all the the dies um but i really like this because it's very very textured um, and detailed and i do like detailed stamps because hey it does all the work for you and that's what we want don't we? We want to just do a sit back, do a bit of colouring, and then it's done for you. But check these out. Look at these. Aren't these awesome? Hello, Esther. Welcome. Lovely to have you on. These are amazing, aren't they? I really, really love them. Oh, Barb, hi. Oh, feeling not feeling the best tonight, <laughs> but we're here. So I'm okay, but thank you very much. It was lovely. Uh, thank you, and thank you to everyone who sent me messages. Thank you. I've been a bit under the weather this week. So look at these. Aren't they amazing? And then you've got it in the same, if you don't want to have it, you want that size and you don't want um, all those little, you know, the, the texture there, you can change it to this. Isn't it cool? It's really, really cool. I really like these. So these are the reasons why I mainly got this set. But having said that, I'm, I'm glad I got the stamp set as well. So these come as a bundle in the new catalog. Okay, so these will be available to you. If you're not a demonstrator, uh, these are available for you when the catalog goes live in May. Okay, which is not long now. Gosh, it's only, what, 13 days? Not even two weeks now. And it's worth waiting for, guys. It is so good. Lots of things on my list, hit list. So if you are a demonstrator, you can order these as a pre-order. So if you want them all now and you're not a demonstrator, just sign up on my team or on my group and you can grab these if you want them, them now. Okay, so aren't they cool? I really, really, really like them. Okay, so I'm going to pop these away. So I have actually cut one out, done my homework for you, and 
this is it here. I'm just going to get rid of... I don't care about having some of these not all cut out. It doesn't phase me. I just think it adds it, but it might annoy some people. <laughs> I um, I just leave it there, but um, it's actually, yeah, I, I know it annoys some people. I know, Julie, I'm hanging out for the new catalogue because there's some awesome things I want. <laughs> and um, unfortunately, I blew my budget. So I couldn't order anything that was on sale, which is an old bummer, but, you know, just as well probably. So isn't this cool? This is one of the dies, and I just think it's the texture, the pattern of it. I reckon it makes it look really, really cool and interesting. So we don't really have to do much to make the background interesting as such as we usually have to if we just had a plain circle. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that aside. I have made it a mission. I am going to use everything, every stamp on this set. So there we go. Let's see how I go tonight. <laughs> so that's my mission tonight. I'm going to use everything. As you can see, I've had a bit of a play with this. I even did a bit of masking. Look, I cut that out. I even did some masking just to see how I was going to go with that. <laughs> so um, I don't know if I'll put you through that <laughs> because I want things to be simple and easy for you tonight. Okay, so, oh, Joan, this is a really, really cute set. And ugh, seriously, those dies, they are fantastic. We're going to be playing with them a bit in card and cover, I think. All right, let's put these on. I'm just going to, I mean, look at that leaf. Isn't it cool? I mean, look, look at it. It's just, I really, really like this. I had a bit of a play with that today. Uh, I'm not using that, but it's just a really, really good set. Okay, there's our beautiful butterfly. I really like him. And you know what? I'm going to keep going. I'm going to wait for these. I'm just going to go and do these because we're colouring these at the moment, not that one. So let's just get a bit of scrap. And we're going to be using my favourite, favourite, favourite colour, which is going to be in the new ink colours. We're going to be using Petunia Pop, which is your favourite, guys. Petunia Pop is mine and then Summer Splash is my second Love to know which ones yours are, but having said that, I love them all. But they're, they're the, my main favourite ones. All right, so let's just ink this up with Memento Black. Okay, what else have I missed there? Uh, no, I think I've got every one. Fantastic. Oh, is that Annette there? Hello, Annette. How are you going? How are you? All right, we're just going to pop this on. Um, I've done a bit of homework tonight. Uh, simply because there is a, the way I'm doing this, there will be fussy cutting, okay? You don't have to fussy cut. You can stamp completely straight on. I'm not going to do that because you all know how to do that. So um, I'm going to try and show you different ways of using this. We all know how to stamp straight onto our card. Um, but, yeah, we're not going to do that tonight. I think that's all I need. What else do I need? I think that's it. Okay, now I need two of these, but I've already done one. So I'm just going to show you how I coloured these. Now tonight we're going to be using alcohol blends, of course, my go-to. When I'm feeling tired or not well or anything, colouring is my go-to. So that's what <laughs> I'm doing tonight. We've got uh, Petunia Pop, um, Pool Party. And then I have added a little bit of bubble bath. Okay, so that's what I'm using. And then I've added in Granny Apple Green. So they are going to be my stems, my leaves. I did try, um, was it Summer Splash or no, Shy Shamrock? But no, I decided I don't have to use all the new colours at once. So I've just decided to go do my go-to. I always do Granny Apple Green, so I just can't move away from that. <laughs> so I'm going to be using that. So aren't they pretty? I think they look go really, really well together. So here's hoping you like what I come up with today. 
can I just say I came up with something a lot different to what I ended up with. It's always the case, isn't it? Well, for me, it always is. I didn't do exactly what I had in mind, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> All right. I'll just put that down a little bit. Okay, so I'll grab these. We're going to be using Dark and Light Petunia Pop. I don't even know what flowers these are. Does, I'm not a flower. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a gardener. Uh, I know roses, carnations, and, th and daisies and things like that. But when it comes to anything else, I really don't know what these flowers are. Does anyone know what they are? It'd be interesting to know. I'm sure I've got some gardeners here. You're in cockatoo. Oh, wow. It'd be freezing up there. Um, Annette, good on you. Thank you for popping on. I'm glad you got good internet. Sometimes it's very iffy up there, isn't it? Okay, and then I'm going to be using... Uh, I have a dark or light. I'll, I'll make that mind up as I go. So we're going to be colouring these. Okay. So all I'm doing is just following the lines. This is why I like distinctive stamps, detailed stamps, because you don't have to do anything. It's just following the lines and letting it do it all for you. So, and that's what we want. We don't want anything really hard. And Stampin' Up! have made it easy for us to do this. All right, so I've just done that, and then I am going on to light, and I'm just stroking like that, that's all. Nothing exciting. Okay, and I will be coming back in and um, making it darker so you will get to see the different colours in here. And then I'll be going back in and putting bubble bath in. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that all blends and hopefully I'll get a few different colours in here. And you just build up as you go. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with my bubble bath. Will I do dark or light? I'm making this up as I go, sort of. I can't remember what I did before. I'm debating about doing Oh, no, I'll do dark. That'll do. <laughs> I can't remember. I've already done one of these, and I've already cut them out, but I just thought I'd show you these. You don't want to see me cutting out. That's not what we're here for. So, And the cutting out was no big deal. But I just thought it'd be, you know, make life a lot easier for you. You don't have to worry about me cutting, uh, watching me cut. I get nervous when I'm cutting in front of people. Okay. All right. And I'm just going to go back in. Just making sure the more I go in, the more darker it gets, but I just want it all blended in. Okay, so that's what I basically got there. Okay. All right, so we're just going to go on to the next one. Um, I hope everyone's got sound. I'm all okay here, so hopefully we're all good here. Maybe, Colleen, not that you can hear me, maybe go back out and go back in and reset. You're all good there. Fantastic. Gosh, yes, it's usually you that has trouble with the internet, isn't it? That's great. Uh, not that she would be able to, Colin would be able to hear me, but I suggest you go back in and out. So you can see it's just so, so simple what we're doing. Okay, and then we're just going to grab our... Um, bubble bath and I'm just going to blend that in I did originally have when I was playing around today having this left this as white but I prefer to have it that way actually I prefer that one that's actually quite good I like that one so I might just go back in there and just do a little bit more here and that'll blend it all in a bit better that's where my week's been that's better Okay, we've got one more flower to go. Hey, 
Jen, how are you? I heard you, you heard me, oh you poor thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, see, we're not that, we're a couple of hours away and you can still hear me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I saw yesterday you were having internet issues, you poor darling. It's a pain, isn't it? We rely on it so much for what we do and they let us down. Internet. Internet, computers, weather. Can't control them. <laughs> All right, so that's basically it. So that that's, you can see there's just nothing to it. My camera's on. I don't think I'll put my camera in a different spot. I can't see where my camera is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so with the Granny Apple Green, doing the same thing again. We aren't doing anything fancy. Okay. So we've got our dark. So I'm just, again, I'm just following the lines that they've given me. I'm just going to put a little bit up there. I'm going to do two at a time here because... They're not, there's not that much colouring. It won't dry. Okay. All right. Now, I will be coming back in with our green. Uh, just to define the darkness a bit more because when I blend it sort of gets lost Okay, I'm just going to put this a little bit forward because I'm really reaching over Here we go That's better now I can see what I'm doing I was like all the way out there and I thought what I can't see <laughs> All right, now I'm just going to go in a bit with the green because I really want that to be striking so you can see it. And then I'm just going to dibble a bit just to blend it so I don't have that line. Depends on how I do it. Whoop. There we go. So all I'm doing is just going like that with the blend. Did I just do this one? I can't remember. I think I did. <laughs> and I'm just going to go in here and just in here. All right. And then I'm just going to dab it. Some of them I don't even need to really because they're blended okay. All right. Okay. So you can sort of see the difference between the dark and the light. Okay, so that's what it looks like there. Okay, so we've got these little stems here. So this is where your stamp and write markers are gonna come in for me. So I'm just gonna grab my granny apple green. Is that old olive? Did I, where is my granny apple? Oh, there it is. Hey, Renee, how are you? How are you going? How's Queensland? I know so you and Glenda are on and Joan, my Queenslanders. I hope you're all are going and enjoying that nice sunshine because it's very cold here. Um, this is an old Stampin' Right marker. They have updated these, um, as you can see. Oh, no, that's an old one. I'll just show you the difference. This is a brand new one. Can you see the nib is totally different? Sorry, you can't see. You can see the nib is totally different, okay? The other end is the same. You've got the brush tip. Okay. However, that's the only thing that's changed is the nib for me. I'm not going to throw this out. I'm still going to use it. So why would I not? So you, if you order this, it will come like I showed you before with a, a, a bigger nib, which are fantastic. But I'm not using, I don't have it. So... I'm just going to be using um, this nib just to get down with our stems here and you will be able to use that with the other nib as well. 
but this is water-based ink. I'm using exactly the same ink as um, what is in our stamps. Uh, yeah, so it is, it's very handy. I mean, I love flicking with these. As people with Khan and Kappa will know, I flick a lot. Um, but they do come, they're very, very handy. So there is on special at the moment, stamp and write markers on our sale at the moment. So if you will like a set of these, are the brand new colours that came out last year. Um, they're down to $30 from, what, $80 or something like that. It's a steal, really, really good. Okay. All right, so we've done that. I'm not going to cut that out because I've already done it. So there they are here. Now, cutting out was no big deal, can I tell you? So I did a darker one and then I did a lighter one. Well, it's sort of lighter. So that, 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 that is them. I didn't bother cutting that. If you want to be really pedantic, you could cut that. But hey, we're on white cardstock, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so they are the flails we're going to be using tonight. Okay, so next is the butterfly. I've cut him out as well, but I want to show you how I did him. He's so cute. All right, so with the butterfly, I'm going to be using dark pool party. And then, I'm trying to think what I'm using light petunia pop and then i think i'm using light bubble bath okay no i've already done it <laughs> you don't want to see me fussy cut tonight that's boring <laughs> okay now again all i'm doing is just doing like i did before i'm not doing this i'm just doing it lightly just like that um okay and we're just going to try and get a little bit of interest in this butterfly. I love this butterfly. Okay. All right. I'm going to be building this up. Let me just have a look. I'm pretty sure I cut him out. I did. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we've got that. I might prefer this one to what I did before. Who knows? Um, okay, so the next we're just going to pop the next one on. Now, I know they don't blend together there, but we're going to fix that up. It's okay. All right. Now, it looks a bit messy, doesn't it? When I first did this, I thought, oh my goodness, Jen, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> and you just hope that it works. So hopefully this one will work. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go back in with our dark pool party. And I'm just going to blend that in a little bit more. Okay, so you see it's starting to blend together. All right, so then I go into our bubble bath. We're just going to put a little bit in here. Like that. It's different every time I do this. <laughs> sometimes it looks nice and sometimes it doesn't. I'm praying tonight it will look okay. <laughs> All right, and again, back in with our pool party. Okay. All right. I might just fix this up a little bit. I only just wanted a bit of a tinge there. And that's all you do you just go back over it if you're not happy with it or you just think oh no i could put a little bit more here or a little bit more there the question is you've got to learn when to stop don't you that's the thing now i'm just dabbing like that now just to blend that in it's going to be a bit darker than the other one i think All 
right and then back over uh, he's a little bit dark tonight so i've done another one but just basically this is all i did he's a bit dark all right i just wanted to have a little bit of a tip and mainly have the pool party being more prominent that's what I was aiming for. Okay, so he's a little bit dark tonight, but that's what I ended up with. Like I said, it's different every time. So if you want to do multicolor, just make sure you just go in there and just blend. This is the one that I did to, just before we came on. As you can see, this one is a lot lighter. Okay, so we're going to be playing with this one tonight. I think this is a bit too dark to what I had in mind. Okay, so that is it. All right, and then we're going to be popping some. Um, uh, hi, Jen. Hello. How are you? Uh, we're going to be popping on some bling on there. Of course, we have to. I mean, we just have to. <laughs> I need to have my bling. So we're going to be popping our um, Winky on, our Winky Stella on. I've got to say Winky Stella because when I said Winky one day, no one knew what I was talking about. <laughs> which is it's okay i have my own little you know bits and pieces of what my lingo anyway all right so we're going to grab this guy out now it's a question of putting this together now what i'm going to do now is i originally played around with this okay i did stamp directly on here and then um and then i did that face mask as you saw um in my stamp pad but I thought, oh, Jan, you're getting a bit too technical here. This is my my mask. So I just want, because I want to keep things nice and simple for you. So, um, and I thought, Jan, you're going a bit crazy. Okay. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to be using this. This is the reason why I cut out two. But you can use a face mask on the face mask. One of these masks if you want to. I just cut it out with post-it note. So if you want to know how to do a mask, let me know and I can show you down the track. All right, so we've got this here. What I'm planning on doing is I'm just going to pop this on here like that and then I'm cutting this up, guys, to make it fuller. Because, I mean, look at that. That's a bit messy, isn't it? So it's not me. I can't do that. I have to cut something up. And it's not alive if I don't cut something up. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to grab our pool party. I'm going to grab that out. And we are then going to use that one. I think we might use this one. Okay. All right. So... And then, what am I going to do? I need a blending brush. So we're just going to make this a little bit more interesting. So if I if I pop this on here directly and stamped it and then put Pool Party on there and directly stamped onto it, it wouldn't come out nice like this. The colours will be all interfered. So that's the reason why I'm doing the way I'm doing it or that's the reason why I have to do a mask. You'd like to see a mask? Oh, actually, I could use that mask that I've got if you want to. But I just, like I said, I'm bearing in mind I do have some people that haven't done stamping before or are new, and that's technical. Um, so that's the reason why I decided not to, because I thought, Jan, you're going a bit technical, because I don't want people thinking that anyone can do that. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Okay. I'm trying to cater for every both people. All right, okay. All right, I'm going to do it then. Okay, so what I'm going to be planning on then is I'm just going to stamp straight on. Oh, my gosh, here we go. That means I have to colour again. That's the only thing. You okay if I colour again? So you'll be seeing me colouring flowers again if that's okay with you. If you're okay with that, I'm okay doing this. Okay, so... I'm going to be getting our black change of plan here or what I had planned. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. So I'm just trying to work out where I want this. Okay. 
So we've got this one here. I'm just trying to work out how high up I want it to go. And that looks pretty good. All right. So what I'm planning on doing now is I have cut this out onto a post-it note, but I'm now going to be stamping on like that. Okay. All right. So next, what I'm going to be doing next is, gee, this is off the cuff here. <laughs> Things I'm making this up as I go now. So what I'm planning on doing now is just popping something on there like that. But, okay, I want to put background on without compromising that flower. So what do we do? We use a mask. So this is the mask here. Now this is a post-it note. And the sticky stuff isn't, you know, it's not really all that sticky really because it's a big area. Now we do have mask tape, mask it tape that we have. Um, you could always use that if you want to. We do sell that. I don't know. I just had mask. I just had the post-it note here beside me. So I just thought, oh, what the hell? I'll just use this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I was just going to pop that down there like that. Now, as you noticed, this isn't sticky. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop a glue dot on just to secure that. I'll put a glue dot on while I put... No, I'll do a glue dot. Now, this is what happens when I change what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I'm going dangerous now. All right, so we're just going to do... Pop a glue dot on here. I don't mind doing glue dots because I can move it. It's not going to harm um, our background. Get out of the way, you. All right. I don't want to do too much. All right, that should be okay there. Okay, gosh, I should have planned to do this, shouldn't I? I shouldn't have mentioned it. <laughs> okay, so basically we're just masking. We're just going to be popping things on top of it. You can do this for anything. Um, so if any of you that are new crafters out there um, this is probably a technical thing but something you can learn down the track um, but don't be scared by it all right okay so we've got that masked now we're just going to pop our background on okay and we're just going to now because this is not secure I just can't go like that um, because it, the mask will move on me. So I'm just going a little bit around. And hopefully that mask won't move on me. Like I said, if you want to do this properly, it's better off getting one of the masking sheets that are in my shop. Uh, but I don't have any on me at the moment, so that's why I had to do this. Now you can check and see how dark this is all right so let's just push that up and see how that goes ah Lee hello how are you going <laughs> I can do it on the fly yeah right you're not on here girl <laughs> okay can you see I've got a little bit of background on there hello how are you going Lee I must get back to you and the other Lee as well I haven't yet it's just been crazy here in this household all right so I'm going to just go a little bit darker because I like to check as I go. And now I'm going to do some stamping because I did make a self a challenge that I will use everything on that stamp set and I'm determined to do it. So we'll see how we go. Well, I should do Hopefully that didn't move. All right, let's see how dark that is now. Yep, that's not bad. Look, I did move a little bit. I'm fine with that. I don't care. It's okay. It's it's not going to harm what I've had in mind. Actually, no, I do need this. Okay. Next, we're going to put a little bit more texture on there. Now, obviously, if you had a masking paper, real masking paper, you wouldn't have this issue that I'm having at the moment. So everything would be secure. It would not move. All right. So as I said, I made myself... A challenge to use everything so I'm going to be using this 
haven't used this stamp set before this stamp so I just thought maybe we could pop that around like that maybe just give it a bit of texture hopefully it'll work I have like I said I haven't done this before I haven't done a practice run so all I did was um, cut these out and um, hope for the, the better. All right, let's just see what this looks like now. You're not going to see most of the background anyway. Okay, this is why I like glue dots. All right, there we go. So we've got that. Now, bear with me. I'm going to have to colour that again. What do you think of that? Looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but once I get all the flowers and everything on there, it will look okay. Trust me, <laughs> it will look fine. Okay, so don't forget um, what I'm making tonight. Um, you will, whoever comments or shares, and if you do share, can you please let me know? Um, there were some people that shared last week. I think I put them all in, but I wasn't exactly sure on some. If you could let me know, that'd be fantastic because you go in twice in the wheel. So what it is, is I spin the wheel every Friday because it got to the case last year. I had so many cards up my, um, and it was just ridiculous taking over. And look, I must admit it was a good thing because I donated it all to our church. Christy, hello. How are you going? Uh, could you just stick the flower you coloured on? Actually, you know what? I could. You're not just a pretty face, Christy. How about I do that? <laughs> Where are you from, Christy? That's a good idea. I like that idea. Okay, done. I like that idea. I didn't even think of it. Haven't been too well this week. That's why I'm just not sort of not really <laughs> not thinking all that well. <laughs> Hasn't been the best week. Thank you. And that saves me. You don't have to watch me colour in again. Because that would be pretty boring, wouldn't it? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that in there like that. That was a good idea. I should have thought of that. I just didn't think. <laughs> oh, I'm really off tonight. Okay, there we go. So we got that. Now, this is where my chopping up's gonna happen. Oh, I glued up the wrong one, doesn't matter. I wanted that in the front, doesn't matter. Okay, so as you can see, this looks a bit of a mess, doesn't it? So it's not a lie for me unless I hack something, so I have to hack it. So we're chopping into this. Justina, hello, how are you going? Great having you back on. Okay, so let me just see. I am thinking, because I want to make these flowers nice. So this looks like a nice little bit here. So you can see there's got three sections here, can't you? There's that section and then you've got that section there. So that's all I'm basically doing is working out these three sections. And because we've got this little holes there, you can actually tuck your stem in the hole if you want to. I'm not going to do that because um, I don't need to. Okay, so what I'm going to be thinking of doing is we're going to push that down there like that. And then I've got two more here. Okay, so we just got, that's the section here. So we're just going to cut that. And then that one can go in there like that. And then we can cut this off. We don't need that. And then that way we've got another section here. Can you see how you can just see the little sections in this stamp set? The first thing I saw when I saw this, I thought, like, oh, you can do this and this and this with this. Because I'm sure you've seen people do this stamp set and they've done some beautiful work out there. 
but I just wanted to go a step further just to show, well, there's more to this stamp set than what I've seen, what people do. So there we go. I actually don't mind that background either. All right. So that's basically what I was thinking. So let's pop a dimensional on and just see what this looks like. Because I said I haven't made this. So <laughs> we're on the on the um, fly here so hi Ange how are you going how's your holidays how much crafting did you get done oh this one's nearly cut off the poor thing all right so we're just going to go in there like that there we go I'm just going to sit in there I might change it who knows I might I'm just going to sit in so it's not exactly stuck down visiting friends oh it's good to visit friends that you got the time to I'm going to put a little dimensional on this one that's great who has this stamp set I know a lot of you are demos so who has got this did anyone get this I know it's not on the pre-order but it was only on stage actually it was on the pre-order was it no I don't think it was so this one was just for people that nominated to um, this for this on stage. And this is just what I nominated. Is it on anyone's list? Like I said, the, the circles were for me. Oh, furballs come to have a visit. Up out of the way, you. Oh, you got your catalogue out too? Go you. <laughs> I can't show people what's on the catalogue because I can't open it. All right, so that's basically what I was thinking in my head. I know it looks a little bit messy, but it will all come together. I don't mind having all those leaves like that because I just think, well, put it this way. If you saw the way I, um, I'm not very good at arranging flowers. So this is basically what my arrangement looks like when I'm popping flowers on at home. <laughs> In the vase, it's like plopping it everywhere. Anyway, all right. Oh, did I put that thing on? Oh, goodness me. There we go. No, Furball, stay there. Stay there. There we go. All right, there we go. So that's basically what we've got, okay? All right. Interesting background. If you've seen the fur balls, um, oh, Jen, no problem. No worries. I don't blame you. It's very, very, it's been a tiring week. I'm sorry if you see the fur balls tail. He's flicking around like crazy. All right, so we've got that. Now I'm thinking I might actually cut that off, but we'll see when I put the bow on. All right, so we've got that going. Now we're going to do a bit of flicking, I think, because I think we need a little bit more on this. So I'm just going to get my stamp and write marker and just doing a few little flicks here. Just think it needs a little bit more and I should have done this before I put the flower down. So if you are ever going to try this at home, do your flicking before. <laughs> oh my gosh, will you get your tail out of the way? I just think that makes it a little bit better. You probably can't see all that much, um, but it does. It has made a bit of a difference. I just didn't like that stamp on its own like that. I just think that looks a little bit better. All right, done. <laughs> flip his flip. Well, he's certainly flicking his tail. You're not wrong. It was flick all right. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, we've got that done. Okay, let's go move on. All right, so I have got some white, white cardstock here. Actually, I might use that for the back because it's a bit dirty. Have I got one here? No. I'm just going to cut one because look how dirty that is. That can go on the inside of the card. So I'm just going to quickly cut up just a normal backing. So we're going to 13.9 by nine and a half. Oh, 
Okay. I'm going to make my own DSP. Well, when I say DSP, I'm not going to be popping and embossing, making my own embossing. I'm not going to be doing embossing or anything like that on here. What I'm going to be doing is using this gorgeous, gorgeous stamp. Isn't this gorgeous? <laughs> hey, you love flicking now, Trudy. I've got you loving it. <laughs> yeah, you've got a lot. You've got to learn a lot flicking if you come on my card and cover. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to emboss uh, along here and along here with this, okay, with this stamp. All right, so just to give a bit of texture, I'm just going to grab out, and we're going to do it in white. So the problem is you may not get to see what I'm doing, but hopefully you will. So I'm going to pop that out of the way. Okay, so here we go. I'm hoping you will get to see this. Should call me Flicker. <laughs> good one, Anne. Good one. All right. Now, it's really hard to see because, and I did a naughty thing. I didn't put my white on here, but that's okay. Hey, Pam. How are you? Now, the reason I didn't go all the way inside is because we've got our circle going there. So um, that is why. All right, now I'm just going to be doing white embossing. I know white on white. What the heck was I doing? Um, but that's, yeah. Hopefully when it's all dry, you will get to see what it looks like. You'll be able to see. Okay. Hey, considering I didn't put my embossing buddy on there, that's actually not bad. Can you see that? Isn't it pretty? Now, I could always put a blending brush over that and that would really come out beautifully because it will be cool, what we call emboss resist because the white would still be white. But I'm not going to be doing that tonight. We're just going to keep it clear. Sorry, I think I just bumped you. Okay, so we've got that going. Now this is just going to be used with our heat gun. Okay, so excuse the noise. So there's quite a few techniques I've done in here. So hopefully you can see this. Now, if you ever find it's warping a little bit because of the heat, you just pop it underneath and it'll go the other way. So it's just done there. And if you have a um, something to hold it on to, that would be good. I'm just lazy. I'm a very lazy crafter, but Stampin' Up! do have a kit that has tongs in it so you don't burn yourself. Oh, you can see it. Fantastic. I was a bit worried you wouldn't be seeing it. That's why I did it in white. Otherwise, I would have done it in clear. But I thought, well, oh, maybe you can't see that. So that's why I did that. So hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea. And if you don't, you know, the thing is we always, the first thing I do, and I'm the person that does this, we just grab our embossing folders out, which are fantastic. But sometimes it's nice to do something a little bit different than just using embossing. Actually, I missed a bit. I'm using our embossing folders. And we've got all these tools in our stash, so why not use them? Hey, Jalissa, how are you? So I'm sure you've all got this in your stash here. Now, as I said before, you could emboss resist. I could put a blending brush over this. And it would remain white, but it'd be um, like the mask that we had before. Um, it would be all blended in the color in the background. But again, we're not doing that. Okay, next, we're just going to get this background going. I'm going to be using these papers. Now, these are the papers that we're going to be sending out if you want to do the color club. And guys, I, I, I'm obsessed with petunia pop as i think i've said to you before so we're going to be using this one here and we're going to be using the other side as well 
All right. I love these papers. They are so cool. As I think I showed you before what they look like. Let me just see. I think I need that and that. Actually, I've got enough. I've got that one going, so we'll use that. So instead of opening up a new one. So as I was saying, you'll be getting some of these papers um, in the Colour Club. All right, so what I was thinking was we do maybe one and a half of that and then a thin one. I think we did this in card and cover. Did we do this in card and cover? I can't remember. Was it the coffee, the coffee one that we did? Or maybe it's coming. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. I do so many cards lately. I forget where I've done them. Um, okay, so we've got that and that. I do the big one or I do the smaller one? I might do the bigger one. Okay. We're just going to pop that away. Oops, that just went. And we're just going to stick this down here like that, just to give it a bit of interest. And I'm just going to be using the other side. And we're just going to pop... Oh, I didn't cut that. A gap there. I mean, I could always stick... Actually, I'll stick it down and then I'll just cut it. Oh, Daniela, hello there. How are you? Okay, I went for Colour Club earlier, but I will let you know. Can you hold off until the end? Colour Club is where um, we've got some new colours that have come in um, at the start of the new catalogue. And what they are is they're colours that um, come in every two years. They do a refresh every two years. And we've got some new colours coming in. I'm playing with one of them tonight, which is Petunia Pop. And Colour Club is um, a, a sort of a, dis, a cheaper way of getting all your colours, but you have to wait until get to them till December to get the whole set. So it means um, I am going to be sending you out. Uh, this is it here. Uh, we've got Peach Pie Petunia Pop, which is the colour I'm using today. And then we've got Pretty in Pink, Shy Shamrock. And summer splash now they're all our in colors and we call them the 2024 to 26 in colors they are going to be starting on um, the start of the new catalog okay so what they are is the color club is i will be sending you out if you want to do this um, and i need to know by the 29th of april you have to commit every month um, i will be giving you a stamp pad a refill a packet of alcohol blends, so you're getting the light and the dark alcohol blends, 10 sheets of cardstock, one meter of ribbon, and six by six sheets of the four sheets. I'm using some of them tonight. Um, and you're getting a color chart, which, where did I put it? Where's my color chart? Which I have made up. And it gives you ideas of what colors go with what, because if you're anything like me, I think, oh my gosh, what goes with what? I can't think. And this will do it for you. And they're giving you colours that you probably wouldn't even think of putting together, which is me. So you'll be automatically getting one of those. Okay. So that is $68 per month. All right. That's including the postage and that'll be express post postage. If you're like me and I'm bad at this, if you want it all at once, you don't want to wait till September to get the whole set. You can get it all at once, which is $300. And I will be including a pack of embellishments and the Crafted Collaborations PDF, which is about 50 PDFs. And it gives you all these ideas of layouts and, and fun folds and things like that. So that's what a colour club is. And that's what I am um, offering. Um, however, this is a packet of embellishments that I am doing for, actually, you get one of these anyway, Daniela, um, as a thank you gift. You'll be getting one of these next month because I can't order them as yet. Um, and you'll be getting one of these. So anyone orders from me this month, this is my thank you gift. Plus the Clarafty Collaborations if it's over 75. Whew, that's a mouthful. <laughs> okay, so that's basically what that is. All right, let's pop this down. If you have any more questions, anyone, please let me know or message me. I need to be happy to go through it with you. Okay. All right, so we got that. I'm just going to chop that because 
doing it the lazy way instead of just doing it on the on the thing. All right, okay, so we've got that going. Now, let's grab our little guy here. So we're going to pop that on here like that, and then we're just going to pop our butterfly, and then we just got our sentiment, and then we're going to pop our um, a ribbon down there. All right, so let's pop this on dimensionals. I'm actually running out of dimensionals, so actually I'm not really running out. I'm just running out of a pack, so I might have to cut up some here. I'll pop one in the middle there because we don't want it sagging in the middle. Uh, of course you can. Absolutely. Of course you can, Anne. Okay, so we're just going to pop that on there like that. Okay, now I'm just going to make sure I don't have this up too high because I want to have a sentiment going across here like that. Actually, I'm, I think that's okay. All right, we're just going to pop that there like that. And then what we're going to do now is I need to secure this. So I'm using this ribbon. Okay, no worries. Where are you from, Christy? I'd love to know where you're from. Thank you for um, popping on and thank you for that fantastic idea. I don't know why I didn't think of it in the first place. So thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, yes, Esther, you will. I will be spinning the wheel tomorrow. Oh, you're in Sydney. Oh, cool. Oh, my gosh. I really feel for you guys up there. You've had a shocking week up there. So my heart goes out to all you Sydney siders of what's been happening up there. Um, okay, so, yes, anyone who comments or shares, and let me know if you do share so I can pop you on twice on the wheel and uh, two o'clock tomorrow I'll be spinning the wheel so someone will win this card. Okay, so this is the Petunia Pop ribbon. So you'll probably, you'll be getting one meter of this. Okay, so what I've decided in here is, can you see how I've got a little bit here? If you pull that, can you see what's happening? Oh, it's not working. If I cut this, I'm just being lazy, I hadn't cut it. I need to get my other scissors because I keep these particularly only for ribbon. Okay, so if I just keep going like that, can you see what's happening? It's fraying and I like that. Okay, so what I ended up with, I'm not going to do it, but what I ended up with is these because I had to play around with it today. Isn't this cool? Because I felt like this ribbon for this card was a wee bit too big. I thought it was in your face a bit. So I thought, nah, there's got to be another way. So as I do, I love playing around with ribbon and see what works. Most of the time I cut them in half and I did with this one. So I'm just grabbing little bits and pieces here. <laughs> so I've got these. And they are from the ribbon that I just showed you how to do. And we are going to pop a bow with these. Now, if I just did that like that, can you see, I think we've got too much petunia pop. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to bring in a silver twine and that is on our reduced list which is leaving us, and I'm very, very sad because I absolutely love it. I know some of you don't <laughs> because it misbehaves itself, but I love it. All right, okay, so I've got that, okay? I think that that'll do. So I'm going to bring in this here. This is the twine that is reduced. If you haven't got it, get onto it. It's such a good deal. It's a bargain. So I'm really sad this is going. So this is a mind of its own, as I was telling you. So all you do when it, when it comes and arrives, all you do is you pop your hands through it and then it will behave itself because we're warming it up and we're getting rid of all that curling, okay? All right, so we're just going to cut this now and then we are going to make a bow. Now I've used too much, but my theory is better using too much than not enough. And we're just gonna pop that around like that. And that way that might break up. Well, we hope so. It'll break up 
the magenta, that's not a very good bow. I practiced this today, <laughs> thinking, oh, all right, let's do that again. I practiced this today and I've got it perfect every time as soon as I do it now. Duh. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's go again. That's better. All right, so can you see how that just breaks that up to me? I think it does anyway. Okay. All right. I mean, I could put more of that. I've got heaps of it here still. I could put more on there, um, but I think I've got enough. All right, and we're just going to pop that in there like that. I think I will leave that stem there. Debating about leaving it there. All right, so let's just pop that on a glue dot. You should see my desk, guys. I am such a mess. I've got stuff everywhere. I think it's going to take me half a day just to clean up. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to secure these with a glue dot or you can glue them down up to you, whatever you like to do. Yes, I popped in too many techniques tonight, but you guys wanted it, so I've done it. <laughs> so, we're just going to pop that like that. Okay, and then, oh, I didn't put a glue dot on this. Let's put a glue dot on here. And then we're just going to pop that in there like that. And I just think that breaks it up a little bit. What do you think of that with the silver with it? Doesn't it look pretty? Now which of my, I think it's these ones. Have a play of your ribbon. I'm sure you've got ribbon at home that will break up like this that you hadn't realised. And you'll get this awesome effect with it. All right, there we go. I'm debating about, oh, I don't know if I like that, guys. I'm thinking about taking this off. Guys, I'm taking it off. Isn't that dreadful? I'm taking that leaf off. I don't like it. There we go. That looks a lot better. I just think that looked messy. All right. We've got this now. Let's twig this a little bit. Hello, Pauline. How are you? Not a pink fan, but love. Oh, thank you. It's sort of a funny pink. It's like a purpley pink. So it's, yeah, it's an interesting color. All right, so let's pop this um, little guy on. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to pop him on a dimensional, I think, because we need him to stand out. And then I'm going to pop a bit of bling on him because I want him to really pop. Okay, so I've got two on here. On these ones here, I'm going to have to do double because I've already got a dimensional here. So if I don't do that, it's going to sag. So let's do that. I'm going to take the tops off these and then pop another dimensional on top. And that way it will even it up when we put it on. Okay, and then let's just pop that on here. They are meant to be an easy card tonight. <laughs> All right, and we're just going to pop him on there like that. Isn't he pretty? Oh, Julie, you're going to love the new colours. They're absolutely stunning. Like I said, I was devastated. The other colours are leaving us, but I've sort of moved on because <laughs> I've got pretty colours to replace them, so I'm really happy. Okay, we've got that. All right, so then we've got... Hey, I've used just about everything on here. Actually, I have, because we're going to be using our sentiment now. So, and I've already done that. <laughs> I told you I'd done my homework. I've done thanks, and I've embossed these, and I've cut them out. And then, dear friend. So I've got thanks, dear friend. Oh, my gosh, here comes verbal again. So I thought maybe we could put something like that. Maybe thanks there, perhaps. Oh, you get your bum out of the way. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> He's sticking his bum right in everyone's faces there. So sorry. <laughs> and I've got thanks, dear friend. 
So I'm sure some of you have got a really good friend that you could give this card to, that they've done something for you. Um, but I was determined, I would have just done thanks, but I'm determined to use every bit of this stamp set. Okay, so uh, what am I going to do with this one? I think I might just pop this on glue dots. Maybe a butterfly football tail. Oh, don't you worry. He's had all sorts of things on his fur. I find them everywhere, especially the little backings of dimensionals. Find them everywhere. I mean, I've even had dyes on his. Sometimes I find dyes upstairs and I'm thinking, how the heck did that dye get stuck to you? And it's always the one I've been looking for. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to pop that there, in there like that. So I've got thanks. So if I did this as a die, the die will be quite big and I think it would overpower. I think it needs something really, really thin. So that's why I didn't actually do... Um, but you could do that down there, absolutely. All right, so that's elevated slightly. And then I could do that for this one down here, but I sort of wanted to keep keep the momentum going of, you know, what we were doing with this. And I could, thanks, dear friend. I think I'll keep it going. I've already done it. <laughs> you could, like I said, you've probably seen people pop this on. And straight on, I have seen heaps of people play with this and um, and they've done the most beautiful work and they've stamped straight on. And I thought, well, you've already seen it probably. So that's why I wanted to do something different and show you what else you could do with this. So I didn't want to do the same as what everyone else had done. And this is just what I've come up with. So you don't have to do all this fussy cutting. I know some of you don't. I don't mind it. I never used to like it, to be quite honest, but I don't mind it now. Okay, there we go. Thanks, dear friend. I'm really not sure how... I'm really not sure I like that, but anyway. Let's see what this is. The beauty of back glue dots. I can move these around if I want to. Maybe if I put that down there. That's a bit better, I think. That look better? I think that looks better, don't you? It's a bit closer to that. I think that looks a bit better. All right. I'm not going to, as you know, I fiddle. So I've got to stop it. Okay. Let's get our winky out. Oh, naughty glue dot. I felt something stick and it was a glue dot. Let's get winky. Sorry, winker scale it out. And let's just wink up this butterfly because he's so cute. If you don't have Winker Stella in your stash, you need to get it. It's got to be a staple. It is the best thing. Love it so much. It's going up, so and it's on low inventory at the moment. So if you want some and don't want to have to pay the price rise, get onto it. I ended up ordering a few. Okay. Isn't it pretty? Can you see the bling? Oh, I like Okay, now there's something else I could do with this. I could gloss these up and make them really glossy, but I suppose that's for another day, isn't it? <laughs> like I said, I could go to town on this and just go crazy. All right, let's pop that on pool party because I was thinking if I did it on um, the magenta, um, the petunia pop, it'd be too much pink. We're overpowering in pinks and we don't want that. We want that pink to be a highlight, the main thing. All right, so let's just pop that on there like that. I already decided the colours that I was going to do. I'm really not happy where I've got the... I'm really not happy where I've got that. Sorry. Told you I'd fiddle. I think I'm going to prefer it back up there. Whoever gets this card, you can move it around because it's on a glue dot. <laughs> All right, let's pop that on here like that. Can you see how it's all coming together now? If I did um, Petunia Pop on here, I, again, it'd be too much, okay? 
All right, so now if I was posting this, I would be popping this up on dimensionals. But because it's not my card, this is your card. I'm going to be gluing it down because I don't want you to have to pay that extra postage. So I'm gluing that down for you. Hey, Lucia, how are you? How's your water issues going, you poor thing? All right, so there we go. Oh, my gosh, that butterfly is just sparkling away. So pretty. All right, we're on our uh, homeward run. Oh, my gosh, did I mess that up? Let's see if I can get, get that off. Oh, my gosh, I, I've got so much junk everywhere. I'm surprised the cat can actually fit on here, to be quite honest. <laughs> so much stuff here. Okay, let's go and grab out. I've got some scrap here. So this is probably going the wrong way. I might go that way. I'm not going to be popping any more stamping on. Have I used everything? I have used everything on here. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Pretty proud of myself. So I wonder if I can you what else can I do with this? How about I do a bit more of this? Let's see what happens with this. Take that off. Okay, where is... Oh, I do it like that. Um, I'm debating about trying to incorporate pool party in here as well. So let's do pool party. Let's try pool party. What is the stamp set on the bottom left of the stamp set? The stamp set on the bottom left, this one. I don't think I've got another stamp set on here, have I? I can't see what I've got on my desk because it's so it's everywhere. Yes, that's what I've got. Splatter, splatter. <laughs> we are moving it. We are doing splatters. So I'm just going to splatter along there like that. We might have to go a little bit more. Oh, I love a splatter. Isn't this cool, this splatter? I love it. All right. Let's go along here like that. Might have to go. You're not going to see most of this. Got a little nuts now. But that's okay. You're not going to see most of it. I'm going to cover it. And then we're just going to pop that across there like that. And then we're going to get our blending brush because we just might as well. We've done everything else. And let's pop a bit of blending. Oh, go away, you. So there we go. I hope this has given you a few ideas, everyone. Um, like I said, you can stamp straight onto it, onto the card, and it would look, it does, it looks absolutely amazing. A lot of demonstrators have done that out there, and it looks beautiful. Um, but I just wanted to do something a little bit different um, because that's what we're all about, to give you bits and pieces of ideas. So that's why I did not do that. There we go. Totally different what I had planned on the back page. Okay, and let's just pop that on. No one's going to see that dirty mark there. And we're just going to pop that on the back like that and hopefully get it the right way around, Jen. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. It's a little bit different. All right. Not me unless I flick everyone. So I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to be flicking. Let's do a bit of flicking. All right done all right so i've used every single stamp on here we just need to pop some bling on here now so i could use the new um the new sparkly gems that is going to be your thank you gift when you purchase 75 however 
And this is where you're coming in. You know, I need help here. Would you think I can use either of these two would look really lovely, which is pretty in pink or petunia pop, or I could use silver to bring in the silver of our, um, our bow there. So what do you think? Let's get that silver out. I've got a few of these. These are discontinuing, which I absolutely love these. These are great at Christmas time. So there is the silver here, and I was just thinking silver, but I just wanted to show you. Everyone's saying silver. Fantastic. You're on the same ballpark as I am. Thank you. I just think it was a bit, we're going to overkill on that purple. Glad. I'm glad you all thought that. <laughs> okay. Everyone's saying it. Great. I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. All right. Let's just pop some silver on. And again, this is where I struggle. Where do I put the jolly bling? I end up doing the same thing every time. I just don't want to over a power it. There we go. That will do. We're done. <laughs> so what do you think, everyone? There we go. We did masking. That wasn't planned tonight. I had no intentions of doing masking, but it sort of went in there, didn't it? Oh, doesn't that look blingy? Look at that. I love that. Can you see how how we played with this? How putting that Wink of Stella really makes it all blend in? It's so pretty. Yes, exactly, and that's why I wanted to do the silver in the bow. Um, I just thought it's an overkill if we put the, um, yeah, more pink on there. Thank you. I'm so glad everyone thought the way I was. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So don't forget our colour club, if you are interested. I've used a lot of the colour the DSP on that today and don't forget I've got that on there if you are interested let me know by the end of the month that will be fantastic um, also don't forget quote my code here um, so I can send you a thank you gift if you purchase from me if you're on my and just head to my shop and just quote that in the host code um, the other thing is tomorrow let me just turn you around Don't forget tomorrow I will be spinning the wheel at 2 o'clock tomorrow and one of you people will be winning this card. So oh, this is one of my favourite times is giving away my cards um, because I know, you know, it's going to go to a, a good use. So instead of just staying in a box, <laughs> which I found that's what happened last year and I thought, nah, I'd rather it go somewhere where it can be used. So, and uh, that's why I do the wheel. So um, tomorrow 2 o'clock, um, yeah, if you'd love to join me, that's fantastic. If not, I will see you all on replay. But um, so everyone that commented or shared, um, thank you so much. And I will be popping your name in here. If you have shared, if you could please let me know you've shared, because I don't want to miss out on popping your name down because you get, you're put down twice. So um, I don't want to, um, you know, you miss out. <laughs> anyway, thank you everyone so much. Thank you so much for participating with me tonight and chatting with me. That's what makes it all so worth it for me coming on because I just love chatting with you all and um, crafting with you all because that's what this craft's all about. It's all about community and um, it's just a, such a fun, fun craft. So, and I'm just so glad that I can have fun with it with you. Anyway, see you all tomorrow. If not, I will see you all next week. Um, tomorrow, don't forget Card and Crafters for Tuesday nights. We are going on our live tomorrow night on our private group. And then it's back to normal next week for Monday, Tuesday for Card and Cuppers. Now, if you'd like to join me for Card and Cupper for the next month, I'm not sending them out until next week. So you still have time. And all it is is $45. I send you four kits. We do crazy things. <laughs> They're not just simple. They're, it's for beginners and it's also for experience. I cater for everyone. Um, and main thing is you use up what's in your stash. And that's the most important thing. So it's 45. We craft with one of the kits each week. And that's all there is to it. It's so simple. And we have fun with it. And that's what it's all about. So let me know by, say, Monday if you'd like to join us. I have Monday, 10 o'clock on Zoom. Um, which we're sort of in person, and then Tuesday on a private Facebook page.
okay thank you everyone have a wonderful weekend i hope it's not running where you are um we've got some gigs happening this weekend again so i'm not sure about the rain fingers crossed it doesn't thank you everyone have a wonderful weekend and i'll see you all next well tomorrow anyway bye